I'm a French Polish film director and I spent last summer with the English New Age travels. My main impression was one of conflict between the New Age travels, the local people and the police. The way of life is more difficult in winter, but because it's winter, it's peaceful. So I hope to get behind the conflict. It's uh, intrusive, cameras like media, it's intrusive. Uh, we're, most of us are just people, we just want to live. Gypsies and New Age travellers are coming to Herefordshire from all over the country because of new sites in the Leinster area. Well, it has got around about temporary planning yeah. permission being granted for what a site at Upper Hill. And the County Council is planning to build a second site at Auburn near Wellington. Sally Davis now reports. The news has spread quickly among travellers about the Upper Hill site where... Hello? You don't want to be it? You don't want to speak? Ah. She don't want to speak to me. Hello? Sorry. Can I speak with you? As long as you're not filming. Yeah, we don't actually don't want to be filmed. Ah, OK. Uh, we are not interested. But see. sometimes people come with cameras and things and they give, they don't give a good, good view of it. I mean, we don't know. You're going to film here. We don't know what you're going to put across when you go back and make your film or whatever. We don't know how it's going to turn out. Mm. So we but don't, don't want to say something that's going to be bad. Mm. You, you go to the photo Christmas somewhere or you sit here? Uh, Christmas Day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going away today. I haven't got a lot of time either because I'm trying to get ready to go and catch a bus to go see my mum for Christmas. He lives here. You sure? Yeah, look here over there. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> How are you? Salut, Frédéric. <laughs> Putain. Viens, je veux te présenter l'équipe. Viens, viens, viens ici. <rire> Salut Ça va, non <rire> Très bien Ça <rire> Quelle bonne surprise <rire> Keep the man happy. <rire> They're a French TV crew, right Making a film on uh, travellers. What do travellers do for Christmas and all that <laughs> yeah, I think they've sussed that one out, actually. <rire> We spent Christmas Day in a sales one on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, man, what that right? Let's go, though. No? Why the people, ordinary people, didn't know about you? Or has the, the wrong, uh, wrong uh, opinion? I think a lot of people do know about us. Yeah. But, um, you know, they, 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 a lot of people do support us. You meet a lot of people on the road and they, and they come out and wish you well. And, you know, today we had people come up and give us two pheasants for our dinner. We was given a load of wine for our dinner and we was given uh, firewood. You know, a lot of people did support us. The people across the road, they are not the same as you, I think. The Berlin. Maybe. Maybe they're hippies, eh? No, all, all of the people, even the, even the really 
crusty, um, anti-social brew crew travellers yeah. are, 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 are all are all still are all still products of the society they come from. They've never paid to stay anywhere. I don't give them any money. I'm going to stay on the move. You know, I didn't yeah. stay somewhere. As far as I'm concerned, fucking apartments for free, the countryside for free, like, it. I won't pay for the countryside, like. Yeah, the products of their lifestyle are just, you know, really harmful, and their attitude is bad, yeah, but I still respect them because they're, they're our family, they're, we're all the same yeah, family. If you're travelling around, you might just suddenly find yourself parked up with a few folk who, you know, got totally different views to you and you do a totally different thing, don't you? No, it doesn't matter. So I might park up with a load of vegetarians one Christmas and they're going to be right off, aren't they? You know what I mean? I'm going to start a compromising situation. <laughs> We're making a surprise for making our friend. It's her birthday yesterday, but we forgot about it, so we're making it today. Is this your school? Yeah. Do you prefer it here? Yeah. But why? Because when you're at school, you have to go at a certain time and you have to do that thing then. You have to do what the teachers say. Yeah. But at here, you, like, you can ask your mum and say, I want to do maths today. Can I do maths today? And they'll say, yes, of course you can. At school, you have to do what they say. And you have to do it at that time. Uh, the people who own the bit of land where we parked on. Well, I've been in business now for approximately 33 or 4 years, I have. And I've had a lot of dealings with New Age travellers in the past. I've got some as we didn't get on very well with. But 99% of the tra uh, New Age travellers, if you treat them right, they'll treat you right. They will. I've been here roughly about 3 months now and uh, anything I've asked them to do, they've kept to the word sort of thing, like, you know. And if they was there in five years' time, I wouldn't say nothing, like, you know. The same crowd what's there now is happy lot all together, like, you know, and they kept the place tidy, like, you know. And a lot of people have said to us, is they're very nice people, like, you know, and, uh, you know, we've got no complaints. They're better off with her than me. Because we tried to, so I tried to live in a house with her, and then she was supposed to try and live on the road with me, but she wouldn't have that light, you know? So we, we just didn't get on anymore. I couldn't stand living in a house anymore, you know? I'd always lived on the road for a long time, you know? And I tried it, I got a, a job, a regular job, and went in the house with her, but, you know, it just didn't work, so I left, you know? And she wasn't prepared to try it my way, so that's why I'm here and she's there, you know? So. There's nothing much I can do about it, really, you know. She doesn't like me anymore. She tells the children that uh, I'm their bad dad, you know, so what can I do, really? Not a lot. I just see them when they're older, I suppose. When they grow up, they might want to know who I am and come and find me. You never know, do you? It's for me fiction. It's still how you film it. You know, I mean... Even if, even if you say, okay, right, I want you to do this, right? Like, boom, 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 boom. You can either film it so it's like a documentary, or you can film it so it's like a, a fiction, and that's the question. For us, for us. Mm. The, 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 the... I, I, I hope and think, I'm sure, no, I'm sure that we can mix together. Whoa! Okay. No, back a little bit more. A little bit more. I'm Whoa! Again? Yeah. Tu te rappelles, t'es... Au premier moment où tu t'es dit, tiens, je vais, je vais vivre comme ça. Ouais. ouais. 
la première fois vraiment, où j'y ai pensé, c'était euh, la première fois où j'ai été à un festival. C'était il y a deux ans et demi, enfin un festival gratuit, quoi, Free Festival. Et j'ai vu des gens qui habitaient euh, dans des bus, dans des caravanes, dans des camions. Et je me suis dit, mais qu'est-ce qu'ils font quoi Ils ont tous des dreadlocks, et, euh, ils écoutent du punk rock et ils habitent dans des bus. Ça a l'air bien ça. Et pour toi, c'est un choix Pour moi, c'est un choix complet. Mais bon, t'as des gens qui, qui sont sur la route, euh, eux, ils avaient, euh, je sais pas, ils avaient 20 ans, euh, ils avaient ce genre de dégaine, et euh, ils ont essayé de louer un appartement, et personne n'a voulu leur louer un appartement. Puis ils se sont dit, bah, je les emmerde, quoi. C'est, ouais, je, je vois pas comment je pourrais vivre autrement en ce moment, quoi. En fait, comment tu gagnes ta vie bon, Je fais un peu de jonglage euh, tous les jours, quoi, dans la rue. Mmh. Tu n'as pas d'autres... Euh... Sauf de... En ce moment, bref, en vrai, j'ai le chômage aussi, mais le chômage en Angleterre, c'est, c'est l'équivalent du RMI, si tu veux. Et bon, c'est euh, 600 balles toutes les deux semaines. Bon, c'est... Tu fais pas grand-chose avec 600 balles. Quoi. Puis personnellement, enfin, moi, je... je compte pas vivre dessus, si tu veux. Quoi. C'est... Bon, je sais que je peux le toucher, donc j'y vais, quoi. je me déplace. Ça m'évite d'aller jongler une fois tous les 14 jours. Quoi. Mais tu penses que sans c'est l'argent-là, tu pourrais survivre Ah ouais, sans problème. I came here because uh, uh, Frederick said to me this, that these people didn't like New Age travels. Of course, everything is closed. It's Christmas in Great Britain. Everything is closed, completely closed. Particularly of this country. So, I go. Frederick said to me that he knows another place, very funny place with a lot of people. That he knows. It's a rich movie. Edouard um, is the film director. Like, he's fucking half French, half Polish. And uh, I met him around Belting. He stayed with us for three days. Really liked it, you know, smoking tongs with us and that, uh, getting wood, cooking. Just really enjoyed it. And he said, well, I'm going to try to get money together. And he did. Il come back like six months later out of the blue to it turns up on the site. How are you? Oh, you're not filming me, are you? You bastards. <laughs> What do you think? We meet just before I arrive here, we meet a man uh, from another uh, man from here. You know uh, oh, the name? mad Catherine yeah, man. Yes. You don't have to live here. Right, I have been here 15 years, I have invested all my money, I work 16 hours a day, these school come along and take it away from me. He used to come out with his dog and threaten people with this hopelessly friendly Alsatian wagging its tail. <laughs> no, he just sort of keep out of his way and he doesn't bother him then. He, it's, it's him that put the block the road then, is yeah. it? Who said it was the Earth Fairies or something like that? The Dirt Fairies. <laughs> no, it's definitely him. They ought to block him in at the other side as well, I think. It's a bit of a danger to society at the moment. They are, a lot of them, are very, very bad. And they have threatened to burn my place down three times. <laughs> he's got a shotgun, apparently. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he's You've actually got that. any cartridges. He waves it around to like, never shoots anything. He's been out with it. Oh, yeah. But never beyond his lump of gravel. You people actually tell lies because you say one thing and you distort it and you couldn't and you say another thing. But I feel, no, it's a bit mean really because he probably just moved here for a bit of peace and quiet but we want a bit of peace and quiet as well so that's the share with him, I'm afraid. Well, we, we shouldn't actually be here. We're here by accident. Ah. We're, um, we're looking for a park, a country park. Ah. We want to go for a walk, actually. We don't, we don't want to see these people. <laughs> I'm sorry very much. Can I ask you, it's by chance you are here, so can I ask you, what do you think about, uh, about them? Well, I don't think I would want to uh, live here. It doesn't look very nice here. It looks quite wet, dirty, cold. Um, it doesn't look a lot of fun to be here. So um, it's not it's not my idea of a good time. But what do you think why they live here? Uh, I suspect most of them are young. Yes, and young people like to do things that older people don't do. 
I suppose they enjoy each other's company. They have nowhere else to go. What else is there for them? What else is there for them? Evening, David. Hi, Martin. I've just been down to uh, look at our friends, um, the New Age Travellers. Well, I can't actually understand why they call themselves New Age Travellers. Because they when, don't travel. Because they don't travel. They stayed there. <coughs> They've been there for over 12 months now. Yeah. So why did they call themselves travellers? Nobody's been up to his gaff. Why would we go up there? We've got no reason to want to go up there. We don't play golf or anything. And make and do the other things. people's lives a misery, misery by outstaying their welcome. Exactly. It's just... And they play on people's goodwill sometimes, which is strange. But it'd be nice for them to come forward and just tell us that, you know, what they're actually after and what, what do they want out of life. Yes. It's... I think a lot of people would like to know what they truly want. If we had enough money to buy some land, why on earth would we live next door to a rubbish tip and a nudist camp and a mad shotgun-wielding <laughs> neighbours? I mean, there's no way you just go and buy somewhere really nice in Scotland or France or Spain or something, away from all the hassle. No way to stay here. No, I think you're absolutely right. I'm not sure they really know what they want or they would live in the manner that they have said they wish as their lifestyle, which would not offend many people. They wouldn't be noticeable throughout the land as individuals travelling from site to site. Basically, what I want at the moment, when uh, if they are going to change these new laws, or change the laws into new laws, just put places I can go, I don't mind paying rent, places I can go and park up, and just get on with my life without sort of outside factors hassling me all the time, i.e. the police and local authorities and the like. But as to whether that's ever likely to happen or not, you know, chances are I'll probably end up just going abroad and uh, have an easier life over there. But that's what they want us to do. Mm. Just want us out of just, our house. So not a problem. The, just, you can just give everything to a, another government and say, right, here is the New Age Travellers paperwork. Just go for it. Mm. You deal with it. You deal with it. Yeah, I'm sure they'd be into that. This country is so interesting, they are so kind, they stop immediately. You come in. Right. Right, welcome to my house. Um, this is my eldest daughter, Roseanne, of course. Why is she a traveller? I really don't know, I've often wondered about it. Uh, she didn't find anything any particular job that satisfied her, and uh, she met some friends that were living like this and just seemed to get into the way of it. It seemed like what I'd always been looking for, really. It seemed very natural to me to live like this and to live outside and to be aware of the elements and the seasons and things. I've always hoped that she would find something which I thought would be more intellectually fulfilling than what she's doing at the present time, because I, I know she has a good brain, and um, she did well at school and has a degree in English. You know, I always hoped she would do something perhaps literary, you know. And um, I don't think apple picking fulfills that very well. <laughs> I think she understands how I feel about that. We are going to try and cross again. Fucking, it's fantastic. I love that. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry very much. No, no, I, I would like to speak about, uh, you know, a uh, rave party. 
Well, my, my knowledge of it is, is limited. Um, I'm no expert on the racing, but as far as I'm aware, it's usually by uh, set meeting places, phone numbers to ring, contact numbers, and then people, generally speaking, seem to get into convoys um, to go to another destination to be told where to go. That seems to be how it goes around. And obviously through record shops and other outlets where people are going to go to get information. Um, there was a, a, an illegal one that was organised back in the summer, which wasn't allowed to go ahead. And I was involved in that, yes. But Banbury area itself has been quite quiet. And as I said, it tends to really um, come to more of a head during the summer months when the weather is conducive with being outside and, and the light's better. Well, there's a drug scene that goes with it. I'm not suggesting that for one moment that everybody goes to a rave purely for that. But it would be naive of anybody to suggest that there isn't a fair amount of um, drug abuse at raves. And clearly that involves people making a fairly large amount of money. Now, whether that's directly linked to the organisers or not, I can't say. But uh, there's a certain amount of money made out of that side of it. We don't know where there's going to be a rave tonight. Where would you suggest we might go to try and find out? There's a, there's a group of travellers who are at a place called Tad Martin, which is quite close to Banbury. Um, Banbury being, where am I? Can't even find my own town now. Here, it's just just on the outskirts, in some uh, some rural land out there. You could you could go and ask. I'm not saying that they're necessarily going to have a rave, but they they might. They're going to have more likely to have an idea than I am. Gary. What she say? The Chillum tribe, yeah. There might be something at the vicarage later, but I don't know yet. Hello. Uh, he said you used to work with him for the free party people. And um, you have to what? Sorry? Oh, I'm really sorry. I just can't hear you at all. Sorry. Uh, I'll try and call you back. Yeah. Right, OK. What time is the meeting, roughly? Right, OK. So what you, when you get Where down about? the bottom here, you're going to go left? No, we're going to go right. Side. It should go... be on the left somewhere. I think it's on the right and then right. It says I'm sure it is. Left after the turn in. Yeah. Yes, I think it's uh, on the right. No, go. Got it? Yes. It's on the right? It's on the right, coming up. OK. So we're on top. It's happened in Holland, it happened in Definitely. Germany, it happened in Berlin, it can happen in France. So how, how would you set it up if you go over there? How would you set it up? Turn the generator on, plug the speakers in. I've got a phone number if you can put me up, then you can the party. Everybody come up here from anywhere. It's free to get in. You don't need to pay. It's no you bad mean. attitude. You just come here. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. It's a party. <laughs> I love your, how would you say? My horns. My horns. Mm, they're my antennae. Like, de like devil, devil, devil. We've got the devil in us. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, these are just mine. 
I want to grow them really long and dye them red. Mm. Like, just loads of people, so like people mm. hate me for it. Uh, Why? Because I look like a devil. Like, and you're taught that it's bad. That's why. Maybe you are. <laughs> you are... Maybe I am bad, like... No, no, I'm No, I'm bad, just but, the same as everybody else, may, man. Maybe you are devil, really. We're all devils. You don't want to be filmed, your party's free, you say no one makes any money, so how does it pay for itself? People put in donations and get petrol for the journey and that, and, so no, a bit of food here and there. You would like to come in France? Uh, I wouldn't mind coming over to do parties in France, yeah. I'd love to. I why? Why? Because it's hot, <laughs> and it's not cold like this. <laughs> Bon voilà. We are going to live together today. And uh, from it's the end of uh, one part of the film. Something's happened with my crew, I think so, I'm sure. Il a un petit peu euh... C'est pas très bien. Il n'a pas très bien su se comporter vis-à-vis euh, -vis d'eux, je crois. Donc euh, nous, bah, on est derrière, on essaye de recoller un peu les morceaux. C'est pas évident. Hein. Oui, ça fait pas mal de jours que j'attends que Edouard nous nourrisse un peu au petit déjeuner pour qu'on sache un petit peu où on va, si on a une idée précise de ce qu'on va faire. Il semble qu'aujourd'hui, euh, il m'ait dit au petit déjeuner qu'il savait précisément. Euh, on s'en va demain, il restera une semaine, dans quelques semaines. Euh, C'est déjà une bonne chose. J'ai été nourri ce matin. Voilà. I'm not sure whether I agree with what Edward's trying to do, but the idea of, of making a film in which the, the audience experiences what you do wrong and you, you get better at it as you go along is, I mean, I'm not sure if I agree with it, but I think it makes good television. My feeling is that if, we've, if there's any goodwill left, we, what we need to do is come and stay with uh, the same set of travellers, uh, maybe some of the ones we've already met, almost certainly some of the ones we've already met, spend some real time with them, possibly even come and live with them as the crew. Fred's a bit pissed off as well, isn't he? Yes, he is. No. Well, it's, it's difficult for him because like, he's not actually living on this site, so he, he turns up like, and people don't see him. It's a big site, they walk around, they don't see him very often. And um, suddenly he turns up and there's a lot of French-speaking people here making a film. And they think, obviously, maybe he's just sort of turned up with them. Yeah. Sort of almost collaborating with the enemy. Yeah. Uh, we get evicted at, sometimes with so little warning that it's just um, really hard to... You know, you come out of hospital, you've just had a baby, and there's loads of riot police there. Like, the last thing you want to do is, like, tap down. You want to go to bed, really, don't you? Uh, that it's the courts don't seem to recognise that like, if you were in a house, like, they wouldn't dream of sending the bailiffs around an hour after you'd had a baby. Like, they wouldn't dream of it, but because you live in a bus with wheels, like, you're going to get evicted. I lost a baby last year, uh, not 
not because, well, because it wasn't meant to be, I suppose, but because I was doing all my wooding and all my watering. I, and we went to court the day I was in hospital. They said, look, there's somebody in court, like in hospital now having a miscarriage. And the courts just said, well, you've got till Monday then. I, I didn't even come out of hospital till Saturday. And they gave us two days to move. I, and I couldn't even, I couldn't drive, couldn't walk. On va finalement retourner à la maison. Attends, attends. Je t'en laverai. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Toi, toi. Encore pour les malades. Ah, Fred. Ça va, Edouard? Ouais, ça va. Tu veux que je sorte là? Ouais, s'il te plaît. Bon, j'arrive. T'as pris ton café? You take, you took your coffee? épuisait et parfois j'en ai vraiment marre. Mais il faut que je continue. Je n'ai pas d'autre solution. Une fois que je commence à faire ce film-là, il faut que je le termine. Et il faut que ces deux histoires parallèles qui se joignent dans, dans un film soit si fort le premier que, que la deuxième. J'ai plus d'inquiétude pour l'histoire de l'équipe, bien sûr, parce que c'est très compliqué d'essayer de, de créer en même temps euh, cette histoire chaotique, euh, euh, créer des conflits, en même temps de, de garder l'ambiance. C'est... Épuisant. There's a farm just up there, and uh, whether they want us to take it or not, I don't know. <laughs> so we've got to be quite cagey, like you know. You know him? Did you know him? Oh. <laughs> I normally take fallen wood, you know. Yeah. And uh, I've never been stopped. It was always the first time, anyway. <laughs> Most of us like are forced to gather in greater numbers, you know, because there's safety in numbers, you know. Mm. Dangerous anarchists about to overthrow the government. <laughs> well, yes. But... <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> fighting for well, I happen to be sitting on 45 Kalashnikovs, but other than that... <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> busy fighting for our own survival. Yeah, right, I'm too busy, busy wanting to think about this. Yeah. What do you do for, for money? We're yours. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, well, you know, you get by, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> we're incriminating ourselves. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, 
I was wondering, are we going to get money for this, you know? What? Money. <laughs> for this? Well, I'm not Father Christmas, you know what I mean? I don't do everything for nothing, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so split between Paul, us, and... Okay, okay, do you have an idea of how much? Well, it's up to you, you know, whatever yeah. you think we, 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 deserve, we are deserving people like you. Yeah. <laughs> right then. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about it then. Okay, I'll get back to you. Yeah, yeah. alright, that's fair enough, yeah. I think. Eh? C'est tout simplement ça, et si on se sent que parmi le budget, parmi ce qu'on a, parmi ce qu'on a donné aux autres, c'est bien ça, euh, c'est ça qu'on devrait donner. Non, on a donné 50 000 euros. Yeah, I think it's complete bollocks, and Donny is absolutely right in that he's completely yeah. deserving of getting a couple of hundred quid. Cause, you know, it's taking the piss. This film's cost I don't know how many thousands to make, yeah, and that's my feeling. Is it's uh, cool. you know, no problem. <laughs> For you, Mark? Excuse me, Mark. Did you start to wink this? Oh, no, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> have another kind of uh, you know, series uh, like that, you know, that everybody watch. Um, as a group have been charged with, I think, two counts of criminal trespass for being on a bit of land just up here, like, and uh, we pled not guilty to it because there was a bit of a dispute as to who owned the land. Someone sent a fax from South Africa saying it was their land and they wanted us off. Forestry Commission was also saying it was their land and they wanted us off. So that's why we went for the not guilty, not guilty plea. It's possible you go to prison though. There is a possibility if, if he finds us, the maximum fine for a criminal trespass charge is 200 quid. If you're facing two of them, that's 400 quid maximum that he could give you. And he could say, like, there's no time to pay, so he could give us a couple of weeks in prison. Myself. Excuse me, I am myself. Uh, uh, Why? <laughs> no, I have a coat crop up there. 
because I have no sinister. Do I like to keep the card in full property? Um, go outside if you I... want, but you can't take it in here. I've asked you to move outside. You move outside, please. This is a court building. You're not allowed to take okay. tapes or video here. Okay. 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 Sorry. Come back. Okay. Okay. Come back. Come back. Come back. Bon voilà, ils nous ont euh, foutu d'or. Why am I not? Because I had a few years of travelling about and doing my bit and I'm making money now. <laughs> I'm getting old and I need a bed at night, so... <laughs> they are in court today, you know. What do you think should happen to them? I think it's a difficult area. It's not an easy decision either way. No, I don't necessarily agree, but I think that there should be land available to these people all over the country. But it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy thing. I haven't got any answers, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. My name's Bill Fulton. I'm the Highland Regional Councillor for South West Ross. I think the fact that the, the New Age travellers are, are so totally different in every way, their uh, dress style, their lifestyle, the fact that they're not the cleanest people in the world. I think the drugs are a cause of problem here because there's a possibility of our young people mixing in with them and buying drugs from them and they seem to be able to get their hands on drugs. They seem to be able to move around the country, go to the places where you can get drugs in the south and come up here and sell them. Whereas our youngsters, I mean, they would never dream of going down to Birmingham and London buying drugs. The travellers have this mobility. We're bailed to an address and we have to reside at that address. It's just the way things work here in Scotland. It's corrupt everywhere. The whole system's corrupt. I think it's a joke. They've just forced us yet again into staying in a house when they could have changed that bail condition. There is no reason for it apart from to stop his travelling. Harassment's the one and only cause. It is what a ground is, make sure we don't carry on travelling. Didn't get a word in anyway. <laughs> they won't let me have any evidence still, because I'm not a solicitor. Uh, you can represent yourself, but you're not entitled to the evidence. Where are you moving to? Over to a place called The Point, which is a long way away from here. <laughs> it's further back down north. Down north. Can you uh, describe what that place is like and how you get there? Uh, it's best to get there by boat. It's really beautiful when you get there. Just want to get out of the way, really, so we can't be seen. So that's the only way. It looks quite calm here, but um, typically uh, the director can't think beyond the end of his nose. Um, Got it! And now wants Gary. Um, we have two boats, one large boat and one small boat. To save money, the suggestion is that we now use the small boat, even though the, uh, the local fisherman is very reluctant to, to put out in any case. Um, so, uh, perhaps this is the last you see. Le 26 janvier, c'est un bateau qui nous amène quelque part, je ne sais pas où, c'est un secret, il paraît. Et c'est depuis le mois d'octobre que je fais ce film-là. Je pense que tout le monde commence à être fatigué. L'équipe est brillante, c'est-à-dire dit que parfois ils me prennent vraiment la tête. Par exemple, il y a deux jours, Didier ne voulait pas rester sur un site avec New Age Travels. Mais ils font ce qu'ils peuvent. 
Bien sûr, les problèmes avec la production, il faut trouver d'autres argent et on n'a pas... Il faut payer des gens qu'on n'a pas prévu de payer, etc., etc. Plus important qu'on tient jusqu'à la fin. On a, on a un peu peur. Euh, moi, pour mon âme, en fait. J'ai plus envie de donner mon âme. Ça me fait chier. J'ai eu peur hier. Je sais que d'autres ont eu peur pour nous, dans ce bateau. Je pense que, que réellement, Edouard, euh, il fait son trip. Il fait, comme Didier a dit, euh, sur un autre partie du tournage, il fait son psychoanalyse personnelle. En plus, il fait des, des morceaux, des pièces à caméra, les darypis, comme il dit. Où il ment. Il change les événements pour ce que ça devient euh, sa version de choses. Moi, ce que je dois ajouter, c'est que euh, dans le bateau hier, on a failli euh, réellement euh, y laisser notre peau euh, à quatre euh, avec le, le pilote là, du bateau, Richard, euh, Edouard et moi. Et on a eu très peur, vraiment, on a eu très peur de, de, ouais, de, de couler, de, de mourir dans l'eau euh, pour rien. Voilà, et ça, c'était une idée d'Edouard, un fantasme d'Edouard, ouais. sûrement. Je veux dire, c'est ça qui est difficile. Ouais. Somebody who gives to us to... I don't think being an animal is so bad. We are animals, so why don't we face the fact, you know? We are animals, we should be part of our environment. We should understand what our environment, what relationship our environment has with us and what relationship we have with it. We're extremely angry. <laughs> travel that don't just amount to, to machines, you know, or taking the, the track that's all ma already made. There's tracks that you can make yourself into the mountains and things. <coughs> I haven't done any of that. I'd like to wait until my kids are a bit older, but I'd like to do that one time. You're really, truly involved with your life, which makes it more fulfilling, and more satisfying, because everything you do is a task. Everything you do is labor. <coughs> It's not straightforward, it's not easy, but everything you do, therefore, is satisfying because it's hard work. <laughs> Może organizują następną, niedozwoloną rejp zabawę. Świat jest chory, a ten ruch jest tego wynikiem. Coś musi się stać. Polityka, religia, moralność. Kto jeszcze w to wierzy? Mam nadzieję, że ta podziemna Wielka Brytania pomoże wstrząsnąć nam. Zdecydowanie nie chciałbym, aby moje dzieci wybrały ten sposób życia, co nie oznacza, że nie uszanowałbym ich wyboru. Tym bardziej, że tak jak Nimitz Charles czy Rebels, czuję się pariasem. 
Urodziłem się w Polsce, mam obywatelstwo francuskie, mieszkam obecnie w Anglii i dopiero co wracam, że w Skocji. Nikt z ekipy mi nie może zrozumieć. Może to lepiej. Być czy też nie być? O to jest pytanie. Czy szlachetniejszy, witny duch w znoszeniu pocisków oraz trzał gniewnego losu? Czy w pochwyceniu za broń przeciw morzu przykrości? Pimpres położył opór? 